And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Okay, Mishi, I surrender. But I'll get you next time. Nice try, Adam. Well, I almost had him. But Mishi's just got too much muscle. Size isn't everything you know. There is something to be said for brains. Maybe so, but if He-Man had been wrestling with Mishi, it might have been a different story. He-Man? What about your abilities? Don't they count for anything? What's the matter with her? Perhaps she has more confidence in you than you have in yourself. But where would I be without He-Man? Well, you would still be Prince Adam. Come on, your father awaits us. This mission to Phantos is very important. Our diplomatic relationship has been poor. Prince Adam is going to Phantos. If Skeletor were here, it would be a perfect opportunity. Unfortunately, Skeletor is not here. But perhaps I... Uh, perhaps you what? We have strict orders to make no moves while Skeletor is... Enough, you fool! Do you think I can do nothing without Skeletor? Ha! Think again! No, oh, we'll leave in the morning, Father. Here is our chance. King Randor will pay any price for the ransom of his son and his friends. Oh, you foolish witch. Do you think Skeletor hasn't tried such a plan? That cursed He-Man always shows up just in time. Even He-Man can't be in more than one place at a time. Trust me, Beast Man. Well, we made good time. Hey, why don't we take a look at the Great Desert? It's supposed to be bigger than the caverns of Centauri. Well, I don't see why we can't. We're not due at the Fantonian court until this evening. Ah! Now we have them! Follow them down and hover behind the crest of those mountains. Hey, Skeletor is not going to like this. Skeletor is not here! Let's take a look outside. Now, Beastman, we must move in very carefully. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. An ocean of sand. Yes, like our water oceans, the sand ocean here responds to the gravitational pull of the moon. Or, I should say moons since phantos has three sure were some strange creatures in this planet's past yes and it's present too i have heard incredible tales about the beasts that live beneath the sand beneath the sand father that's not possible don't be so sure tila adam where are you going oh don't worry duncan i want to check these fossils i won't be long you can all take some time to get a little sandbird It's time to bait the trap. 
Switch on the creature energizer. Stir up a smoke screen, or should I say a sand screen? He-Man doesn't need help, Tila. You're just as bad as Adam. Speaking of, where is he? Uh, uh, don't worry, Tila. I'm sure he's okay. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about time. We're due at Banto City. Time, my dear Tila, is the least of your worries. Evelyn! <laughs> How sweet of you to recognize me. But we have no time for pleasantries. Where is Prince Adam? The noble prince has disappeared. <laughs> we must hurry, Evelyn. The creatures will not delay He-Man much longer. Yes. These hostages will have to do. Get moving. Quickly. There's no time to lose. That should keep you guys busy for a while. Men at arms. Tila. here. Skeletor. Well, my dear, you'll never need a diet after you experience my new invention. <laughs> Turn on the reducto ray, Beastman! What's going on here? You'll find out soon enough, small one. <laughs> you did it, Evil Lynn. It worked. You won't get away with this. <laughs> and what will you do about it, little one? I'll show you. <laughs> oh, what a cute little thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you expect to save you. <laughs> it's barely big enough to harm a fly. <laughs> that should hold it until I find a place for it in my micro zoo. <laughs> it's He-Man! You bet it is. Now it's our turn. We'll see about that. Get the Duraplast cage. Where is your misguided master and what has he done with my friends? <laughs> Can he be speaking of Skeletor? I haven't got time for foolish conversation. Must I tear Snake Mountain apart? Such a violent attitude. Skeletor is away on diplomatic business. 
And your friends? Your friends are right here! Be careful, He-Man. She set some traps. Oh, you make it too easy. Skeletor would have done better. Not quite that easy. Look, everything is in balance. The cage balances the boulder. The boulder hangs over the reducto ray. The reducto ray points at the cage. <laughs> it's a no-win situation. Touch the cage, and the boulder destroys the reducto ray, leaving your friends forever seven inches high. <laughs> Touch the reducto ray, and it will automatically turn on, reducing your friends <laughs> to the size of tiny microbes. <laughs> and so, He-Man, those great, gorgeous muscles of yours are totally useless. <laughs> So much for your great strength, He-Man. It's useless to you now. Don't listen to her. We'll be all right. <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> but very small. <laughs> I'll think of something. Don't strain your brain. I've already got it worked out for you. Yeah, it's time for him to be our messenger boy. Watch it, Whiplash. Now, now, boys. Don't fight. It's very simple, He-Man. Go to King Randor. Tell him I'll return your friends to normal size and send them back safely. But only after Eternia surrenders to me. Uh, oh, and to Skeletor, of course. You're dreaming. You think so? Reduce them another inch or two. Wait. No, He-Man. Don't give in to her. Shh, shh, shh. He knows what he's doing. Now, go to your king. And tell him he has no choice but to surrender. If you harm one hair on their heads, you'll answer to me. I did it! I did it! What do you mean you did it? We did it! We did it! I can't take the chance that my strength will bring harm to my friends. There must be another way. Perhaps it's Adam. But can I do it as Adam? Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, there's some kind of back entry. Ah, that might be it. If I can just squeeze through. <laughs> it's time for a celebration. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a party to break the news to Skeletor when he returns. <laughs> Let's just start with the party. What are we going to do? Well, nothing for the moment. I've got a feeling that help may be on the way. Shh, shh, shh. Adam, Adam, up here. Tila, man-at-arms. We were trapped by Evil Lynn and Beast Man. I was sure of it, but when I came back to the ship and found you gone, well, I immediately took off for Snake Mountain. Now you see, they used a reducto ray. It's, it's right over there. Well, it doesn't look too complicated. They should be able to reverse the polarity. No, no, Adam, don't. Everything's set to go off if anything's touched. There might be a way. Let's see. The reducto ray is aimed directly at the cage. Now, if I stand on the box and you duck down on the floor of the cage... It'll hit you. Right, that's what I want. But you'll be reduced, too. You're, you're, you're taking a big chance. No, it's our only chance. Now, quickly, duck down. Keep down. It worked. Adam, there's nothing you can do. He-Man will find a way. Are you forgetting what you said to me, Tila? That size isn't everything? Ah, this might come in handy. How long has the party been going on? Not long. 
good. We need all the time we can get. Uh -huh. That'll do it. I should be light enough now to reach you without setting off the reducto ray. Or releasing that boulder. That was the easy part. Adam, if the cage is shaken, the ray will fire automatically. I know. It will all be the size of ants. Or germs. Here goes. Be careful. What's going on in there? Hathor, go take a look. Whew, that was close. Gently, Adam. Gently. I found the release. We'll have to take a chance that opening the door won't turn on the reducto ray. So far, so good. Uh, now what? I mean, I'm okay because I can float down from here, but, but what about you guys? I got an idea. Adam, be careful. Okay, I'll brace the line here. Now slide down one at a time, very carefully. All right, you first. No, Father. You're the one with the twisted ankle. You go first. Okay, Orko. Time for you to float and me to slide. Let's go! We're doing okay. Now wait here. Set. Stand together in the circle. I'll try to aim it without releasing the boulder. <laughs> Through the door quickly before they hear us. I'll catch up. If I have this timed right. Uh -oh. Noisy little thing, aren't you? Panther! What's going on in there? Sounds like it's time for He-Man. But first, you'll be okay here. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Happened to Panthor, Skeletor will kill He Man! As perceptive as ever, Beast Brain. <laughs> we'll turn you into muscle pie. That's a great way to get a headache. This'll do more than give you a headache. Say hello to the insect world. Hmm, you guys do have a talent for being in the wrong place at the right time. I'm sure you'll all have a lot to talk about. Don't you dare! No, Eman! Don't turn the reducto ray on me! I could stand being small! Turn it on, why well, I wouldn't think of it. You're going to have enough trouble explaining what you've done when Skeletor returns. Especially after I use this rock. <laughs> oh no! What about Beast Man and Whiplash and Panthor? I guess you're going to have to explain to them, too. Fortunately, He-Man showed up just in time. He always does. And I managed to get away while he mopped up. He always does. We got the message, Orko. 
Yes, enough, Orko. Sorry, Tila. Well, maybe you should have left me three inches tall. Then I wouldn't always be bothering you. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> no, oh, please, Adam, don't, don't, don't do it! <laughs> don't worry, Orko. It's just an empty tube. <laughs> Silly little thing. We love you just the way you are. We sure do. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> Being strong and powerful is wonderful, but you know what? There are some things even more wonderful. Things like imagination and intelligence. In today's story, it wasn't He-Man's muscle that saved us. It was more Adam's clever mind and quick thinking. Exercising so you can be as strong as possible is a good idea. But exercising your mind, like reading books and, uh, yes, doing your homework, that's also a very good idea. Think it over.